Welcome to Bite Size Science, brought to you by the American Chemical Society, the world's largest scientific society. I'm Adam Dolevsky. Imagine spaceships the size of a birthday cake zooming through the solar system. They snap pictures of other planets and send the images back to scientists on Earth. Some work as communications satellites. They relay TV programs, text messages, telephone signals, and the internet. Some may even be spy satellites, with cameras powerful enough to snap people's photos from hundreds of miles up into the sky. A scientist named Dr. Prasanna Chandrasekhar invented a special plastic film that may make this sci-fi vision come true. It works by giving the spacecraft a special skin that acts like a heater on one side and an air conditioner on the other. It's easy to understand why space vehicles need to stay cool on one side and warm on the other. Have you ever sat in front of a blazing campfire on a chilly night? The front of you bakes while your back freezes. It's the same for spacecraft. The side facing the sun gets blistering hot, and the side facing away from the sun gets icy cold. For spaceships, that uneven heating, it's not just a nuisance. The constant frying and freezing can make these hundred million dollar ships go kaput. To survive, these vehicles need complicated heating and cooling systems. Until now, those systems were far too large for use on small spaceships or micro spacecraft. Scientists really want to build these tiny birthday cake sized vehicles. But why? Well, mostly it would be much cheaper to launch them into space. Today, it costs almost $20,000 for a rocket to just carry one pound of material into space. We could save a lot of money by building micro spacecraft and even smaller nano vehicles than launching spaceships that weigh hundreds or thousands of pounds. Dr. Chandrasekhar's invention may make that possible. This new material goes onto the outer surface of spacecraft, almost like a piece of kitchen plastic wrap on a slice of leftover pizza. To keep the spacecraft's temperature normal, the film switches color from light to dark based on its exposure to harsh sunlight or extreme darkness. The skin is also very tough. It needs to be to protect the spacecraft from micrometeoroids. These bits of rock and other material can collide with spacecraft at speeds almost 10 times faster than a speeding bullet. The next step is to test this skin in space. Dr. Chandrasekhar hopes to do this soon. NASA wants these tiny ships launching by 2013. Once micro spacecraft are in orbit, better hurricane detection and faster, more reliable cell phone and internet connections may be just the beginning. That's it for this bite-sized science video podcast. For the American Chemical Society, I'm Adam Dolevsky.